your family, welcome to this surface code. On this surface code, we want to take a look at uh, uh, Bishop Abioye, who came out to say, Pastor does not need your tithes. Church does not need your tithe. Before you become a member, this church has been existing. Your tithe is what tie you to God. Jesus is the one who receives your tithe. It's not the pastor. But you pay it in church to pastor, but Jesus received the tithe. That is what Bishop Abuye said in this video. And is it that I'm shocked or I'm surprised? I'm not surprised because everybody, all the pastors have twisted it. There is one that said, if you don't pay tight, you'll be tight. Things will tight for you. Another one said, if you don't pay tight, you will not make heaven. But he has said he's sorry. Then twisted it that 10% uh, uh, is for the beginners. You have to be paying from 20, 30, 40%. Now, this one said, your tight is what tie you to God. The other one said, if you don't pay tight, you'll be, it will be tight for you. But now he's saying that this is your tithe. Jesus is the one that receives your tithe. Listen to him. Listen to what he has to say by himself. Because he's still from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Watch the video. Jesus himself is the receiver of the tithe. We pay it here. But he's there in heaven to receive it. It is not the pastor that receives your tithe. It is Jesus who receives your tithe. What will pastor do with your tithe? Since we came to Goshen here, I've never entered where they account money. money. Because it is not my business. The church is not interested in your tithe. And for you to understand that before you came to this church, this church has been surviving. So it is not your tithe that makes this church. Your tithe is to tie you to God. Tithe ties you to God. Come back. <laughs> so when you pay your tithe, that's what tie you to God. So if you don't pay tight, you will never be closer to God. I have never seen any such in the Bible, which says that when you pay your tight, it will be tight to you. It will tie you to God. It will, you know, take you closer to God. I have never seen such. So what is wrong with you studying the word of God? What is wrong with you communicating with God? What is wrong with you channeling, channeling your energy in studying the scriptures to know more about God, to come closer to God? Is it, why is it that? How come that Jesus received this tithe? How? What is Jesus' business with your tithe? Because you pay tithe, you don't pay none of his business. You do, it does not have any advantage or any plus or any additional in heaven. If you pay tight, good. If you don't pay, that does, it's not elastic for God to bless you. It does not say you will not be blessed. So now what he's trying to say is your money will make you come closer to God. Okay, how far now? Is it the level of your money now? Or any amount that you pay as tight? Now if I'm receiving 10000 as salary now, if I pay 1000 so that 1000 made me be closer to God, even if I'm committing sin, even if I don't study the scripture. So it's money now that will make uh, me to be tied to God or to be tied, that will tie me to God. Why do people, why do pastors do this? Why are we doing this? Yes, since the beginning of the church, you have not touched the money, you don't go there. The same thing a pastor said, hey, you don't, you don't, don't touch the church money, you don't do this, you don't do this. Same thing a pastor said in my presence recently. He told people, he asked for money, the, you know, drop offering, whatever, they gather the money. He was telling members that, I don't do anything with your money. I don't take the money. If, the only thing, if I'm, maybe I broke, I just need transport, I just need them to give me money. And after the service, I waited. I saw the pastor, same pastor that, that claimed he does not need their money. He was the one counting the money. He was the one counting the offering. If you don't need it, why are you counting it? He was counting it. And people are coming to him for prayers. Somebody knelt down in his front and they were about to pray for the person. He held the money. The one he has, you know, arranged in his hand. He did not drop it. He did not call any usher to come and continue counting. That he wants to attend to somebody who needs to pray for. He was, he withhold the money. The money was with him. He was holding the money. 
and he said he does not have anything to do oh the pastor why do they claim they don't do anything with the money why why do you they always claim i don't do anything with the money i don't touch the money they touch money oh you don't touch the money no problem yeah you don't touch it right it's okay since okay since okay you don't touch the money because you already said it's jesus that received the tithe please you people should stop lying against god you people should let, stop lying against jesus jesus does not know on what you are saying jesus there's no way you see jesus receives tithe in the bible so it is now <laughs> now it is now that we will now be accepting tithe your tithe okay what does he want to do with it money material things somebody that gives money a giver of life a giver of wealth a giver of everything you are not giving him money what does he want to do with it you people should have fear of god now eh fear god for once now please this thing be <laughs> well may god forgive you it is well all right uh, thank you for watching don't forget to comment subscribe and share um i don't know i don't know i don't know thank you for watching god bless you subscribe don't forget to share please help me god bless you